All right, welcome everybody. Today on my channel here, I'm going to go over The Witcher 2. And if you're having problems running it on newer generation software. Or hardware, I mean. So, as you see, I got The Witcher 2 sitting up here on my Steam page right now. And what was going on is I couldn't get past the launcher screen. The game would just sit there and hang. Now, to show you what I'm running here on my PC, I am running an AMD Ryzen 9 16-core processor. I do not have it set to be overclocked, nothing, 16 gigs of RAM. Also running a 2070 Super um, RTX card. But let me kind of show you what the problem is here and await it. You can fix it. Now, I heard this problem happens with hyper-threading, and it seems like anything over an 8-core processor seems to have the problem. And I'll even go over how to fix that. But here, let's just show you once you go to start the game, bring up the launcher, hit the game, and this is where it's going to hang. It will not come off this screen. Now, me and my wife take a two-mile walk with our kids. I've left it sitting like this throughout that walk. Came back, and it was still on this screen. So, according to what people say, it is the fact that it's got too many um, cores activated, and you have to shut off the cores or shut off the hyper-threading. I think hyper-threading is more on the Intel side, but it could be Intel's over 8-core machines. So, let me go ahead and get this um, stopped for a second. So, give me a second here. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to shut this down completely real quick. All right. So, what you'll find in a lot of readmes and help me's and stuff like that is... You have to go into the BIOS, turn off your hyper-threading, or you have to go into the BIOS, shut down a bunch of your cores, um, set it to at least, you know, everybody says just turn off one core and it should work fine. But unfortunately, like going into the BIOS, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have to go back into the BIOS and return everything back on again. So let me show you another way of doing that. So when you hit play, I don't care if it's on here or if it's on GOG or whatever, when you get to this part of your screen right here where you get to launch the game, this is where you'll bring up your task manager. So I'll bring my task manager on over onto the screen so you can see because I do have a dual screen here. But I usually right click on the task bar down here. Go to task manager. Now task manager is up. Now you could go right to your detail page, find the Witcher in here. I find out it's easier just to go this way. Witcher 2, highlight it, right click, go to details. That way it shows right here. Then in here again, right click again, go to set, I cannot say this word, I'm going to say inf affinity. This is where you see your cores. Now if you remember, I showed you I only have a 16 core processor. The Witcher is reading this as a 31 core. So a lot of people say you can just turn off one core, boom, and it should start. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclick all of them. I'm just going to turn on four of them. Click OK. Go ahead and close that down now. Now launch the game. Now it should start. Give it a few seconds here. Unless I forgot to hit OK. There we go. The Witcher has started. So that is how you start The Witcher 2. Now, in case some of you are wondering... You know, since I turned off the core, then it just turned on only four of them. Well, is my system running that way now? Well, let's take a look. Let me restart the Witcher again and do it again. Task Manager. The Witcher. Detail page. The reason why I do it that way is because it highlights the Witcher right away. And as you can see, all my cores are back on. Which, it says I have 31. I do not. I wonder if that is only 16. I should probably read that. I should learn to count one day, because I just noticed it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and then skips around a bunch. I'll have to check out what that is. But that's how you set The Witcher 2 to work. Let's try it once we're just turning off one of the cores, see if it turns on. Bunch game. Never tried this. What I was saying about the script, I tried the script. That did not work. You know, we tried a whole bunch of other stuff. Is When I found this help file that explained how to do that part is when I actually got the game up and running. And yep, one core off and it works. So there you go. Try that with your Intel also, if you have an Intel processor. Just shut off one core and see if the game works. 
Hope it helps you guys out, and thank you for watching.